Hey guys, so as you're probably aware by now, the United Nations has decided that the killing of gays, lesbians, bisexuals, and transgendered people, for that reason, will no longer be prosecuted under international law. Now, this was brought into effect by a supposed majority vote of primarily African and Islamic nations. So the first thought that came to my mind after reading this article was, this is the United Nations. Aren't they supposed to be defending these people's rights instead of allowing other nations to persecute them? And then I looked at the bottom of the list and then I said, oh, that explains a lot. See, many of the nations that agreed to this were either primarily Christian or primarily Muslim in population. So the day I thought would never come, and the day atheist dread would come, finally has. The day when religion takes a hold of our politics. And that should never have happened. It shouldn't happen. And it never should happen in the future. After all, why should personal beliefs have a say in how we run our country? It doesn't make sense. There are honestly no words I could say to express my disappointment with the UN and my contempt right now for these nations. And when I looked at the list of nations that agreed to this, I just scrolled down most of them and I said, oh wow, that's not too surprising. But what really disappointed me was China agreeing to this. Now why I have a particular sort of thing to talk about with China is, well, yeah, sure, that passing this bill is a complete and disgusting violation of human rights, but in terms of politics, I'm no expert, but that's not very smart, especially for the Chinese. China will be an economic superpower in the very near future. We all know that by now. When you have that kind of power, nations start to look up to you, not only in terms of economics, but politics as well, and many other things. So, if I was the chair, why would I risk defacing my image by voting in favor of this bill when I want to maintain the best image possible so that people will look up to me as a humanitarian and look up to my nation as a very open-minded country to live in? So, that personally is a pretty stupid move, in my opinion. So I made this video for one reason, and that is to say what must be said. And what that is, is that the United Nations are acting like a bunch of pussies. They're letting themselves be bullied by Bible and Quran dominated nations whose backwards ways have hindered our progress long enough. We should never allow religion a place with power. We should never allow religion to mingle with politics. We should never allow religion to persecute others in the name of their faith. Well, if your faith mandates you to persecute others, my duty as a human being mandates me to defend these people and their rights. Thanks for watching, and may the truth really be heard.